Hello guys, hello guys. <laughs> good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever the time is over there. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Tada! <laughs> if you just stumbled on my channel for the first time, you're welcome on board. If you're a returning subscriber, God bless you real good. Thanks for coming back. If you're just joining this channel, please smash that red subscribe button. Smash it, smash it, smash it. <laughs> smash the red subscribe button, like the video, comment, and share. God bless you all real good. Okay, today I chose these fluctuating colors as lightning system because I just wanted to change and see how it goes. Now, let's get right into this video. church has failed us the church has failed us the church has failed us that's what people keep saying on a daily basis us in the cheese um, domestic violence news came to the limelight it came to our screen and everybody was like the church has failed us this other story came and everybody was like the church has failed us now that brings me to the question is who is the church Everyone is just so swift to point fingers at the church. They were like, um, the church would have helped her pastor, would have told her to leave, he would have known, God would have revealed to him, and so on and so forth. Who is the church? <laughs> Who is the church? We fail, to, we fail to ask ourselves this question and we just keep throwing blames at the church. But in, in, how will I put it, in a nutshell, when people say the church has failed us, they're indirectly saying God has failed us. Now, who are you to say God has failed us? People blame religion, they blame um, the church as a whole for not doing what we ought to do, for not teaching our flocks for not teaching the followers for not teaching this who are the flocks who are the followers who are supposed to be the listeners is it not you and i we shouldn't be using the word the church has filled us the church has filled us i don't understand when any negative thing comes up in the society everyone is just eager and just coming to a, a consensus conclusion that it is the fault of the church. Now, I should ask this question. When last did you go to church? When last did you read and study your Bible? When last did you meditate on the scriptures? When last did you follow, adhere strictly to the instructions in the scriptures? It's not just about going to church. It's not just about apportioning blames to the church. We are the church. So if you say the church has failed us, indirectly you are saying you have failed us. You have failed us. I and you have failed us. It's best put, we have failed God. Because God placed us on earth to be the salt of the earth if you and i being the salt of the earth has lost our server what is left to preserve this world that is why you see the moral dividends you see things you see so many atrocities going on in our societies we can't help it until we fix our lives that is just the simple truth I remember traveling to Abuja by road some years back and we stopped over at Lokoja, a fast food, to get um, food. On getting there, I saw this um, crowd waiting to purchase their own food. So I was just patiently waiting. I was even thinking maybe I should just quit standing and go out to get um, fries on the road. 
while standing, I I just came in and I heard um, two people exchanging words, a matured man and a young lady. When I mean young lady, not so young, in her middle age. She, they were exchanging words. Why? Because he said he came there first before her. She said, no, I was here before you. Don't oppress me because you're an elderly man. She, he was like, I'm not oppressing you for crying out loud. I was here before you. Can't somebody say something? Everybody was just keeping mute. And of course, I won't go to a place and start noticing who came before me when all of us, different vehicles were just stopping over at that point. So it got to a point, he began to stutter. He was like, I'm talking and you're still arguing with me. The, the people at the counter was even perplexed. They never knew who to serve first. Funny enough, it hasn't even gotten to their own tongue. There were, I think, seven people before it got to them. But now, who should we serve first? No one was ready to let go. No one was ready to play the church we are saying had failed us. No one was ready to let go. I was just, I couldn't even say, I couldn't even say a thing. I quickly, I came down from the vehicle, so I was rushing over to ease myself before actually coming to get food. Then I heard the man, he began to stutter. He was like, I curse you this day over a plate of food. I curse you this day. You will not see the end of um, 2020. Let me use the uh, 2020. Assuming that was the year. You will not use, you will not see the end of 2020. And I came out of the restaurant. I was like, what the heck? What did I just hear? Over a plate of food on wood to serve first. It will even take up to five minutes if they are done with the first person between both of them, then they will proceed to the next. One will say, why can't the lady of young age allow the elderly man to be served first? Another will say, ah, ah, elderly man, relax, let the young... He wasn't so elderly. He should be around his um, late 50s and early to middle 60s, not so elderly like uh, 80 years using walking stick, okay? So maybe she was like, if he was that old enough, she would have been able to give him preferential treatment for him to be served first but she was of the part that justice is fairness i was here before regardless of your age i was here before you so i should be attended to first then after he said those words people were shocked like what he was placing a curse on her over a portion of meal then she trust trust sharp babe i don't know if she's even there watching this video right now she was like you're cursing me over for, 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 you're cursing me for no just cause okay i curse you to i place a curse on you that you will never see the end of this year come 31st i think she said come 31st december of this month you'll be gone you will be nowhere on the surface of this earth that was the uh, summary of what they both said to each other i was like sister but I couldn't mutter a word because <laughs> I <laughs> I never wanted transfer of aggression. You know, at that point, they, they couldn't listen to anyone. People were trying to calm them down, but they couldn't listen to anyone. The best I could have just done is maybe just say a word of prayer for them. So at the point, I was like, the, the not seeing me was coming to play in my head. I was like, what did these people just ended their lives over a plate of food this year? Okay, I think what I should do is to ask for their phone numbers so that at the end of the year, before we say cross over to a new year, I will call to see if this one is still alive, to see if this one is still alive, if the curse was actually effective. <laughs> Don't mind me, that was on a lighter note. But that's to tell you we have failed ourselves. Even on the streets, we have failed ourselves. In our homes, we have failed ourselves. We are so... The, 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 the fleshy mind of human is so quick to apportion blames to the next person. We are so quick to transfer our aggression. We are so quick to allow someone receive the blame without thinking deep within ourselves that I could actually be the cause of this problem. I could actually take part in this blame. I could actually share blame, you know. We should take full responsibilities of our acts or omissions when i mean omissions what we're supposed to do but didn't do could actually be the cause of what we are passing through right now for crying 
that God will not fall down from heaven to fix things in Nigeria. That's why he placed you and I. God will not fall down from heaven to fix things in Africa. That is why he placed you and I. God will not fall down from heaven to fix things in the world. That is why he placed you and I. Hello guys, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever the time is over there. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Tada! If you're just stumbling on my channel for the first time, oh sh I did not connect my mic. Okay, I have my mic on now. Hello guys, good morning, good afternoon. Hello guys, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever the time is over there. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Tada! <laughs> if you're just stumbling on my channel for the first time, you're welcome on board. I'm super duper excited to be on your screen today. Yeah, today I chose this fluctuating color because I want a change. And let's see how it goes. Tada! We should take full responsibilities of our acts or omissions when i mean omissions what we're supposed to do but didn't do could actually be the cause of what we are passing through right now for crying out loud god will not fall down from heaven to fix things in the world that is why he placed you and i see see what the past few women in nigeria they just took the light to cry out loud okay the video has ended kindly subscribe to this channel like the video comment and share now who should i portion this blame to this is what we face filming in nigeria creating content in nigeria now we stand in have a blessed day bye